Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have yet another brand new beta and preview to take a look at. This week is version 1.20.021 and uh, this beta is actually not the largest thing, but there are a lot of very, very exciting changes. So, first up, let's get this boring one out of the way. When you are brushing Suspicious Sand and Suspicious Gravel, they will now play their own separate correlated sound. As you just heard, when you are removing the sand, it makes like a whoosh sound and the gravel is more like when you place a normal block of gravel, you know that general sound there. Next up, the pitcher's pods, which you can now get from the sniffer. They have changed the hitboxes when you are growing them. So now with each growth stage, the hitbox will get slightly larger to fully surround the plant. Now this next one is actually really interesting. So first of all, skulk sensors and calibrated skulk sensors can now power the blocks below them as shown there and there. Now, they also changed the range on these, so these things, rather than only being able to reach 8 blocks, can now reach 16, and they can also detect sounds from 16 away. So I can stand all the way out here, and the signal will still make it all the way out to there. Does it pick it up over here? Yes, it does. So the range on these is a lot larger, meaning you can do a lot more with these in uh, a lot bigger area, and you ain't gotta collect as many. They also updated the amount of times it can activate. Previously it was every two seconds, now it is every second. And there you have it. That is all with the calibrated skulk sensors, but it does offer us a lot of potential in the future. Next up is a relatively small one, but I did notice this in survival. When you are holding a pot or a conduit, why is my hand so far out? <laughs> Maybe it's just because of the conduit size. It just looks really weird in my hand. But uh, these now actually render properly in your hand. Previously, they were pretty much blacked out. There was not very much visible color on them. There have been a numerous amount of changes to signs. If we go ahead and grab all these items. When you wax a sign and try to now interact with that waxed sign, you cannot do it. As you can hear by that little plank sound. Now, if you try to dye a sign that has no text, nothing's going to happen. And if you try to dye a waxed sign, it's also just going to make that noise and nothing's going to happen. You can now also interact with untexted signs. So now items that will interact and work normally, such as a brush or a goat horn, when you try to use these on a sign that is unwaxed, you will, rather than using the item, just open up that sign. And there's been a change to hanging signs. So now you do not have to crouch when you place one below another hanging sign. As demonstrated here. A small change to the sniffer. They slightly modified how the textures work. Because previously, the textures on the head would constantly glitch out and be all weird with the textures on the body. The Z fighting was very, very bad. They have also, of course, made the change so normal skulk sensors can activate the block below them. Normal skulk sensors still have to wait every two seconds to be activated, unlike the calibrated skulk sensors that activate every single second. But they made the change where if you waterlog a skulk shrieker, it does not actually make any noise even though you can still see the particles being emitted. So if you were to put this in your base for dramatic effect, you could totally do some cool, just like particle type things. 
Now, they also made a tweak to how the sounds that will be detected on the skulk on the calibrated skulk sensors and skulk sensors. Previously, they had the whole volume and the vibration sequence set up 1 through 15, but they made a few modifications just to make it simpler with the new calibrated skulk sensor so that you don't get any interference when you're trying to pick up only one specific type of sound. So I'm going to go ahead and put that list up on the screen right now. Now that is actually it for this beta. I'm still waiting for 1.1980 to get released. I imagine it will probably be out either tomorrow or next week because this is now the second week of the 1.20 betas and there's still no full release for 1.1980. Anyways, if you have enjoyed, I recommend that you go ahead and smash that subscribe button, hit that little bell so that you never miss out on any Minecraft news, and I sure hope you have enjoyed this video, and you have a very good rest of your day. This has been Mr. Gaming Aquatic, and I'll see you next time. Bye!